What's the tea, everybody? Welcome, and welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Elena. I'm a Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do reviews and tutorials of affordable and expensive makeup, but today is Friday. That means Friday is uh, a drag. So this is my series that I do a drag makeup every single Friday. Usually uh, some very well-known queens I recreate the looks and try on the style of drag pretty much. So this is clearly Rakum Sakura, Rakum Sakura 2.0. This is a new and improved look. So I followed her tutorial, so we're gonna be doing this. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new video upload. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and also go live every Monday. So do follow me on social media, the links are down in the description box, as well as my Patreon group. So like, subscribe, comment, and let's get right into this fabulous makeup tutorial. So just before we get into the video, I've been meaning to do this tutorial for a while, not this particular, but a Rakum Sakura look. Uh, like I said at the end, I love her style, I love uh, Trixie, Kimchi, Bianca Del Rio, all the animated, very big, uh, especially like uh, Trixie and Kimchi. They're like very anime, like I love this type of looks. I love drawn out, doll-like looks, and Rakum Sakura is right up my alley. And she's got two tutorials of her signature look. So one of them was, I think it was like a couple of years ago. I'm going to link this up here, put a card. And that tutorial, she does everything, the base and the eyes. And it used to be even bigger than this, like her uh, eyeliner was up to here. But she's got a new updated look, and that was very recent, like a couple of weeks ago or something, or months ago, <laughs> anyway. It's a very recent updated, she says, uh, Rakum Sakura 2.0. So that tutorial is gonna be carded over here as well. So you can see where I drew inspiration from. So I did my base from the first tutorial because the second one, she didn't do her base. And second tutorial followed it exactly, like her face makeup. So I did exactly the same thing she did. And I tried to make it look similar with the wig and hair and all. So let's get right into this tutorial to my bare face with no eyebrows. And we'll go from there. <laughs> let's get to it. Okay, so we have arrived. I'm doing rock and sucker look. So I'm going to combine the two tutorials. I might have said in the beginning, the tutorial, the classic rock and sucker tutorial and the newest. Well, then the newest, she was only doing the eyes and the old one, she did the full face. So the skin I'm gonna do from the old one. And I think I'm too close, so you can't see my full face. Anyway, let me put my foundation on, this is uh, Foera, 104 and 105. I already primed my face, moisturized, and I covered my eyebrow tattoo, which like I have no eyebrow hair, so we're just gonna do the usual. Her face is very similar to the others, except for one thing that she does with the nose, so very questionable. So I'm going to repeat that, and we'll see what happens. Just for S-H-A-T-S and giggles. So next to contour, and she contours similarly, but she starts on like over the year, like a little higher than usually they do, and goes all the way to the mouth. And she says, you see mine are not even either. She says, it doesn't matter how even they are, we're gonna fix it later. And she's a girl after my heart. I do that too often, I fix it later. Sometimes off camera, see how crooked this is. <laughs> So the, the forehead, she's going like this kind of line. And for some reason, she put the contour on her brows. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. I just covered them up. I'm not messing with it. Then all she did, this kind of thing. I'm just going to follow that. in the chin. And we're going to blend this. So she blends. I think she blended it with a beauty blender. I don't think she used the brush. So we're just gonna follow everything. This should be interesting since I have two tutorials. 
I can follow exactly what she's doing. So now I'm gonna highlight. So for once, I might regret this, but I'm gonna try to use a one wild highlight stick because I usually have, uh, use one wild counter stick. And this is 808 Nude for Thought. I like never use it. It's been sitting in my drawer forever. So, I mean, what can I lose, right? I remember it being a little bit too greasy for like under eye concealer, but that's not what we're using for. So she's doing this kind of a line here up. Uh, let's see, like this. And she said that's gonna direct the eyeliner up. That's where she's gonna put it. Well, it kind of makes sense, why not? And around the beak area, what <laughs> she says. I didn't say that, she said it. Her nose is cute, I think. I don't know why she's calling it a beak. So, the next questionable step. I already loaded this. This is the art supply brush, which I actually do own because I do some face paint and I found this very invaluable for face painting. So she uses this for powder, for the highlight powder. So I took a little bit of Maybelline Superstay. I know this is not your loose powder, but I have white, clown white from Aeron. Uh, it's like ultra white and it's um, it gives me texture. I don't like it. So I just crushed a little bit of that. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna make this line because we're the crafty queens I love Rakum Sakura the girl is up to my heart the craftiness the lines well, now I can make the lines you know she's got something about it she says you can make real sharp lines and you really really can so I'm setting all the highlighted areas with this <laughs> The rest with the translucent powder and the air spun, the usual. And I hope this all comes together because this worries me. The art supply brush worries me. Okay, all right. It's very, very uh, sharp. You know, sort of. So now we add in some contour. I'm using a Revolution palette, a very beat up palette. I broke it and I made my husband fix it with some scotch tape <laughs> anyway see I made a dent in it I love revolution counter palette so it's just gonna reinforce everything in the same way okay it's time to do the questionable and scary part the nose counter <laughs> I'm gonna do it the same way I'm just nervously laughing I think I might m uh, mix the bronzer and the contour. I mean, it needs to be a little more pronounced, just like she did. And she said, just as I thought, she said, boo. That's exactly what it looks like, boo. I'm telling you, the girl is up to my heart. The poop references, she should be on my channel. <laughs> Yeah, and the second thing, I wonder if it was a joke, if it's real, that she said she never washed a beauty blender, and her beauty blender, she got it in 2009, and this tutorial was like well, a couple of years ago. Is she saying she hasn't washed a beauty blender in 10 years? No way, it's just no way. I would die. If I didn't wash my beauty blender once, I mean, the sponge, I would die probably. Mentally and emotionally, I would be dead. <laughs> okay. So next we're gonna reinforce the highlight. So I'm gonna go back to my spatula and I'm gonna re-highlight everything. Going back to that cream. This is very tricky because it can remove what's underneath. So I don't like to go over the powdered part with the cream again. So this kind of bothers me, but I'll do it very subtle way. I'm not sure if she did it here. I'm not gonna go there because it might not end well. So now we're gonna do the spatula again. So reinforce all the highlights. <laughs> so next we're blushing. And I'm using this Bellini blush palette. I'm gonna go for a peach again. It's the most pink out of them. And she only blushes cheeks. There is no forehead blush, so 
We're just gonna follow that. Very, very blushy. And I'm gonna dust off the excess powder and go to your eyes. Uh, I thought she was gonna keep the bake, so I'm gonna have to watch that video again. Because most people keep the bake on, so there's no fallout. I mean, regardless, I'll need to bake, because once you start putting that shadow in, it's gonna be one S-H-A-T-T-O-I situation. Almost forgot, nose contour. Apparently, the updated tutorial has a nose contour already, and I think she does it with the liquid eyeliner, like a white NYX eyeliner, which I decluttered because I didn't like it. So I'm gonna use my Midas Cosmetics water activated paints and I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> ah, I'm scared. Oh, this is so weird. This is so weird and unnatural. So now we start with the eyes. You don't even know how much trouble I had with this nose. That white eyeliner did not do well. So I ended up with a uh, mirror on white and some concealer and all kinds of stuff. Mm. I don't know how you do it, girl, but I was messed at the house. So I'm using a little bit more Meron Clown White and also the white base from Beauty Creations. It gives me a better texture and not as greasy and, uh, and cakey. So we're gonna create the base for the eyeshadow. And it's gonna be very high. I have a feeling I'm going to like almost old Rock'em Sakura because the old one was out of control. And the new one is a little less so, but... For normal people, this is all out of control, like she said. So I'm taking a Moda brush, a medium size Moda brush. This is Moda Pro BMX 466 shade. And we're going to Mango Tango palette, Kimchi. I figured why not use Kimchi palette. One drag queen to the other. I'm going into the dragon fruit. This is a very pigmented eyeshadows, guys, by the way. If you haven't gotten Kimchi eyeshadows, this little tiny palette, they're real nice. So I'm just pressing it, and she's right. Uh, Rock'em Sakura said press it. Do not smear it. Because you have so much base. And it's so sticky. And you got eyebrows underneath, it's just gonna mess up everything. So then we're going for purple. So I'm not cleaning the brush, I'm just going over the towel. I'm going for this one. This is grape jelly. And it needs to be a little cooler purple, so to make it a cooler purple, I'm gonna go into the grape jelly and the sky blue. Just tap into both, one after another. And then we got more of a bluish purplish color. So now we're adding the blue on the old profusion brush. I'm gonna go right into the sky blue and we're gonna go up. And I feel like mine is coming out bigger. Like I'm trying to do a new improved Rock'em Sakura tutorial, but to me, I think it's gonna come out like the old one because <laughs> I'm t I tend to be very extra. So this is coming out big, but I mean, We'll see. We'll see where it's gonna go. We never know. I guess you already know if you saw thumbnail intro. I don't know, so we'll see. So next one I'm gonna add green. And this is a Morphe brush. And I'm gonna go right into the Virgin Mojito. I'm gonna go into this too. This one, the Sour Apple and Sour Pop. In between this two. We just press it on. Look how bright and pigmented those are. Amazing. And I'm gonna use another brush. I think uh, Rock'em Sakura used the same brush. I don't know how she got away cleaning off all these colors. Because yellow and green are so far away from blue and purple. I just have to use different brushes. But again, Rock'em Sakura doesn't have John. She doesn't have my husband to clean the brushes. If she had, she probably would have used them. She can borrow John if she wants to. If you're watching, I know she's in LA. <laughs> you want to come over and borrow my husband to clean brushes? We can collab. <laughs> we can collab and John will clean our brushes. Where is this going? Okay, we're in white. I'm using Urban Decay Wired palette. 
has a decent light actually. I'm using um, a spectrum brush, just a big fat and uh, kind of flat at the same time. It's good for packing. It's a uh, 807. So that's what she said. That was her next step. She used the white. And then we're gonna blend with pastels. Now I'm using Beauty Bay pastels to blend out all the colors. I'm gonna go for the pink first over here. I'm gonna go on in the same water pink, then purple, then light blue. Here are the purples. So now we're cutting the new crease and I'm using Clown White to dry it up because I don't think she cleaned up. She didn't use any Q-tips or anything to clean up. So I'm just gonna go right with this brush because it's so heavy and so thick, it should be doable. Pull it back to white eyeshadow after we did all the shape and setting with white eyeshadow. Just a flat brush. The first brush I used was a lip flat brush, just like Rackham Sucker used. Now I'm gonna set everything like a little below with white. So far, I like where it's going. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply. Uh, the other rainbow colors, but in the reversal order. So I'm gonna start with green, uh, the lighter green this time, because this is supposed to be pastel. Whatever Rock'em Sucker created here, I really enjoy this. I like this whole reverse rainbow look. It's real pretty. Pretty much easy. This blends easily because there's a white eyeshadow already there, so it's kind of easy to create this kind of thing. So yellow next. My table is a mess, so I'm looking for my yellow brush. I remember I was watching Missa the other day and she says, I arranged my brushes in the water I was using them. I'm like, <laughs> my brushes are like <laughs> all over. Well, if I had a bigger desk, my brushes would be arranged too. But I have very limited space, so I'm messy, which kind of makes no sense. But <laughs> oh well. I might add a little bit of orange from uh, uh, the Beauty Bay pastels because I want just a little better gradient here. So we want to be too overwhelming here. So now we're going to create the eyeliner. And uh, Brock and Sakura used to put eyeliner about up to here, but now she's going smaller. Well, I kind of have to either go very small or go quite big because my eyes are so deep set so if i put eyeliner up to here and then i try to extend it it's gonna be very wavy so it has to be like a straight line so when way above my crease it might be the same for the um hooded eyes but i think it's even worse for the deep set eyes so i'm using morphe gel liner and a flat brush i'm kind of go in the reverse fashion she first drew lines and then filled them in and I'm kind of filling in stuff <laughs> and then I'm just gonna draw the line because I know where it's gonna be it's gonna be all over and this is a flat skinny brush from uh, uh, Elf set that's from JK set it's actually very very thin it's very good for this kind of thing So now we're adding hot pink under the eye. I put a little bit of a primer base here. I mean, the same cakey thing. It looks so cakey. You do not want to see me up close right now. <laughs> so I'm going to go back into this dragon fruit. And I agree with Rock'em Sakura. There is nothing better than hot pink. Don't we all love pink? I mean, not all of us, but I live for pink. Uh, you know why I'm not wearing color contacts? That's why, because I knew this was gonna come <laughs> in, in the middle of this video or well, close to the end. I'm taking clown white and we're gonna do this first and do the white of the eye and then set it with white powder including the waterline and that's scary, oh my god. Well, I can use eye drops after that clean up and then put contacts in. She likes to wear this cartoonish kind of white 
light uh, and enlarging blue contacts. Going back to white. Uh, we're gonna try to put it right in the waterline. Oh my god. This is so drippy. I hate doing this. Next, we're gonna apply the white water activated liner and the same Midas Cosmetics. So I'm gonna outline all the areas to make them sharper, like here, here, and I even went ahead and added some line in the bottom. I don't think she did it, but I'm gonna do it because I'm extra. Okay, what I did off camera, obviously, everything. So I added some dots here, white dots, and I did lips off camera because she did it too. She did not show how she did her lips. I mean, it's obvious. It's very Palm Berry inspired, I think. I've seen Palm Berry with the same lips. Cartoonish. I pretty much did uh, some uh, lipstick, just a Maybelline Loyalist, and then I put eyeshadow over it, and then I kind of lined around and the white, you know, pretty much a lot of painting. And now I apply the lashes, and I don't have her huge lashes. She's got lashes go all the way up here. So I'm a crafty queen and I put some lashes here, my regular lashes, and I cut up some lashes pieces and I glued them to my grease. I mean, from up here you can't see. <laughs> so let me snatch my wig on and we'll be back. She has arrived, hunties. That's what she was doing, anyway. <laughs> she was posing, doing some kind of a beauty guru montage. So yeah, it's, the wig is not exactly the same because, like I always say, I don't have banged wigs and I have lace front and I'm not cutting my good lace front, so I kind of like did a little side bang and I'm using earmuffs instead of those fur balls. She had those fur balls. So I decided to go big and go home or go home. This is a earmuff so I used to wear in New York in cold weather. <laughs> They're warm. Yeah, and a little pink accessories, and we got it. A very pink bubblegum Rakum Sakura 2.0. So this is a finished look and I'm living as usual at the end it all comes together and it's like you can't see all this stuff here because of the earmuffs and she had the same thing going on so her hair was covering the ends it's like this is a cool part it's been covered <laughs> anyway I'm very happy with this look I really like the animated exaggerated stuff like this like painted I really enjoy the style the most actually so let me know what you think uh, I love Rakum Sakura's style, um, it's like uh, Trixie Mattel and Kim Chi and Rakum Sakura, they're all like a animated, very big, very exaggerated, like a look for this kind of thing, doll-like makeup. So let me know what you guys think, leave me a comment below and like this video, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and also go live every Monday. So do follow me on Instagram, Twitter, the links are down in the description box. So huge thank you for my patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support. I have a Patreon group. I do Patreon-only lives, and uh, I do patrons choose my makeup looks and stuff like that. We have Facebook and ch group, and we have Telegram chat. So if you're interested, all the links are down below. So I gotta go take pictures before my earmuffs fall off. <laughs> so thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!